we all know I love Darren Brown. Uh, right. Worlds Darren Brown's cool. Worlds collided the other day. He can't. He was on fucking Joe Rogan. I just saw that. I was like, what the fuck? Like, that's like two of my favorite things, yeah, yeah, you know? That is two of your favorite things. It was crazy, but um, I've heard Darren Brown talk a lot. Cause I've, even, I've listened to like his audio books and shit like that, too. And he's a very like strange guy. I think he's like one of those guys that's just too smart to like really en even enjoy like he like having a conversation with like i feel like he's just on like another level when he's talking like here for example like him and joe rogan were talking and, like joe rogan would ask him a question and then darren brown would like not to mention he's like br has this british charisma right and he's like going off on this like tale like this amazing tale of somebody he met a long time ago and then like then he after literally like a five minute tirade he'll like bring it back to like kind of half answer the question he like joe rogan asked because like he just can't bring himself to just say like yeah that this right. was cool you know what i mean it's just it's it's the point i'm trying to make is this is it's interesting hearing a guy like that talk for so long um it's rare that you hear him like like we've talked about with elon musk too um we're just smart people talking for long See, like, lengths of time I never feel like somebody's too smart for me to have a conversation with. I feel like I'm bright enough that I can have a conversation with anybody. Sure. But I do feel like when I'm having a conversation with somebody that's clearly smarter than me, I want to pull back on the conversation and just absorb everything yeah. I have to say. And that, like when I have that moment <laughs> where it clicks where I'm like, oh, you're real smart. Yeah. That's when I shut the fuck up and I just start asking <laughs> questions. Okay, what about this? Yeah. And I just start taking in everything. Like I used to work at a nightclub, bro. And there was this fucking dude that was one of the bartenders. And like if you didn't know him, like, if you just saw him, he was, like, big, muscly black guy, always had his shirt off, and was, like, serving drinks, and, like, he looked like he could be douchey, bro. <laughs> and every time this dude talked, I was like, oh, you're smart, bro. <laughs> and I would just sit there and just fucking, I wanted to take in everything he had. My other, my dude, B-Dot, he worked there with me, and we were, like, both of us, who are way smarter than your average fucking person, were, like, sitting here, like, I want to hang out with him, bro. Like, I want to hear everything he has to say about everything, like... He knows some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you want to like you want to absorb that. Well, thankfully during the Darren Brown conversation, you could tell Joe Rogan had that same sense. He he was smart like normally like Joe Rogan will he'll kind of interrupt people or interject with like to to uh, disagree with them or question them on something they say right. or play he, devil's advocate. He did or a something. lot of just like kind of sitting yeah. and like listening and uh you know like I said Dar when Darren Brown talks it's like I mean, he's he has like a flow to it, you know. But I mean, I mean, that's like the funny thing, like is is like if you watch a lot of interviews, like radio interviews, things like that, podcasts, you'll see like when people clearly know the other person's like yeah. a fucking retard. And they, <laughs> like, bro, do you realize the fuck? And so they start asking them questions, and the person won't be, and they'll be like, no, but, yeah. and they'll be trying to be nice about it and shit, but they'll be like really trying to, like, you're not very smart. <laughs> and then you have other moments like that where you're like, ho, ho, yeah. That happens, well, bro. Well, if you're if you're not a fan of Darren Brown or don't know anything about him, I think listening to this podcast with him and Joe Rogan is a good. It's actually a good starting place because Darren also does a very good job. He knows that he's not like well known over here, but he does an amazing job of kind of like just in the middle of a conversation, like kind of throwing. Oh yeah, well when I did this show <laughs> called The Push, blah 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 blah, or when I did this show called The Blah Blah Blah, where I did this and this and this. He he gives you a lot of little anecdotes about some of his more popular specials, which is really interesting, especially if you don't know who he is. The reason he was on Joe Rogan, though, is because he has a – I don't know if we talked about it on the show, but he has a brand new one that aired like last week maybe. It's called Sacrifice. It's on Netflix, which is a big fucking deal because right. everyone has Netflix and not everybody knows who Darren right. Brown is. Whoops, I thought I knocked my coffee over. Um, but I watched it the other day with the kids. They, they sat down and watched it with me, and they were – pretty um interested the uh, bank robbery one fucked my head up bro yeah that one's crazy i watched a few of them i watched the one where he like there was a there was one where there was like two envelopes and one had a bunch of money in it and he made him pick the one that didn't have the money in it there was like <laughs> i might have been the same one i'm not sure but there's another one where like at the end he had like this giant billboard and he's like pulling it off and it had like the address of where they were at on it and shit yeah like I watched a few of them. Like he was, he was interesting. So he you was, watched, you probably watched one of his stage shows. Yeah, I watched, okay. I watched like two or three of his stage shows, yeah. and then I watched the uh, bank robbery one. Okay, well, you he one of his stage shows. It's called Miracle. It's on Netflix too. If you want to check that out, The Push is also on Netflix. But what's interesting is the sacrifice. Just long story short, because I know I could talk about Darren Brown all to day. To be clear, but. to be clear, for those of you that don't know who Darren Brown is, he tries to get me to watch all kinds of shit all the time. 
I had no interest in most of it. <laughs> I had no interest in Darren Brown. Darren Brown was able to pull me into the point that I watched like four or five of these. Yeah. So like to be very clear, like this is he's pretty fucking tight. He's the fucking man. <laughs>